I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Azelf. It is well known that the three Lake Guardian Pokémon are associated with knowledge, emotion, and will, respectively. These three concepts, traits, or virtues are very similar to the three associated with the Imperial Regalia of Japan. The Imperial Regalia of Japan, a sword, mirror, and jewel, supposedly handed down to the Emperor by the Sun Goddess Amaterasu, and passed from heir to heir for millennia, are a symbol of the power of the throne and the divinity of the Imperial line. The mirror represents wisdom, and could be said to be reflected in Yuxi. The jewel is benevolence, which comes from emotion and empathy, and is embodied by Mesprit. The sword is valor, and of course this can be found in Azelf. These three ideals are not that far removed from another trio of godly gifts in a Japanese video game's mythology, the Triforce of Wisdom, Power and Courage from The Legend of Zelda. Azelf, with its blue head crest not unlike a sword, has wide opened eyes and is the fastest, strongest attacker of the three Lake Guardians. It had a useful niche as a quick Pokémon for setting stealth rocks at the start of a battle, a mainstay of competitive play. Naturally, Azelf appeared before the impetuous, act first, think later, Ash Ketchum in the anime. Pokémon Diamond tells us, Known as the being of willpower, it sleeps at the bottom of a lake to keep the world in balance. Unlike the others, who seem content to just chill at the bottom of a lake, it seems as though Azelf is actively forcing itself to stay down for the good of the world. Perhaps it would rather be out in the world interacting. Legends Arceus gives us a dark glimpse of what it might get up to if it could. The dreaded being of willpower. Legends tell of this Pokemon manipulating the will of its adversaries and turning them into puppets of its own. The other Pokedex entries are of course a little more benevolent. Pokemon Platinum says, when Azelf flew, people gained the determination to do things. It was the birth of willpower. And HeartGold and Soul Silver tell us, This Pokémon is said to have endowed humans with the determination needed to face any of life's difficulties. While the one from Pokémon Pearl is just plain weird. It is thought that Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf all came from the same egg. This egg, presumably, was created by Arceus. In the game Pokemon Legends Arceus, during the final chapters of the story, the player must personally track down the three Lake Guardians in order to get their assistance in forging the Red Chain to tame Dialga and or Palkia. Later, the three can be caught, earning the Draco Plate. Welcome back to Does Andy Remember <laughs> Gen 4 Pokemon? And if so, does he have any thoughts about, um... Azelf. Uh, it's the blue one. Yeah. And uh, even if I hadn't I guessed them all up to this point, I would have got that one right. <laughs> Big Azelf oh, no. well, we, stand. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. no. As, I didn't mean that. I mean, like, you'd have told me the other two, and therefore the only colour remaining was blue. Oh, I see. But also, Azure. So, you know, super easy. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Azure Elf, you know. <laughs> It's not helpful. bad, how's yours? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, proper, like, 1920s comedy going on there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Sorry, I think the spirit of my granddad just inhabited me for a second. <laughs> Yeah, that only works if, like him, you've never pronounced the letter H in your life. <laughs> the name Azelf combines elf with us, or perhaps the A from UMA, or possibly even the word azure, representing the colour, with the other two being yellow and magenta. The Japanese name is a gnome, using gnome instead of elf. Despite being a pretty staunch believer in democracy, and far from a royalist with regards to my native United Kingdom, I'm fascinated by the history of the Japanese imperial throne, and its ties to the mythology, which inspired so many of my favourite things. I adored Okami, 
and I love The Legend of Zelda so much I have a tattoo on my back. Learning these connections has given me a newfound appreciation for the late Guardians who once I may have overlooked. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing and editing is all by me, Luke Summerhays. Funding is provided by lovely listeners. If you'd like to help keep the lights on or give your thanks, head over to patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. There you can find links to the other shows my pals and I create. Or for just a dollar a month, listen to episodes as soon as we're done editing. Why not check out our new Zelda podcast, Hyrule Field Report, which plans to take a deep dive look area by area at The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I love hearing from you guys. A five-star rating review on your podcasting app of choice, or even better, telling a friend. Our next Pokemon are Dialga and Palkia, so let me know your thoughts and feelings about those, or any other Pokemon, on Twitter or Facebook at LukeLovesPKMN. And even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Azelf, and remember, I love you too.